Hey what's up guys, it's Etsy Etsy Modern Warfare here, Gamertab Banjo Chicken and welcome back to another episode of Hardware Tutorials. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to change these green lights on your RF board on your console to any coloured lights that you would like. So you can customise each uh, LED if you want to make them all a different colour or go with a certain theme, maybe all red, all blue, whatever you want. Um, this is a white console, I've just added a black faceplate because I think the LEDs do look better um, on a black faceplate than they do on a white faceplate. I mean that could just be um, personal preference but I do think they look better on black. Um, so what I'll be doing at the end of this video is I'll be changing the whole case and putting a black case on this console instead. Um, so to give you an idea of what it looks like, this is one I've done before ages ago, this is my retail Xbox. Uh, oop, turn it on properly there. So you've got the blue light in the middle and then each other light is a different colour, as you can see there. Okay, so that is what we'll be doing to this console in this tutorial. Now, I personally like multicolour, each light different, but this console I'm doing here is for a customer, so he wants a certain, he wants, uh, you know, done a certain way, he wants um, blue in the middle and then red, blue, blue, red, like that. So that's what I'm going to be doing on that one, but you can go with absolutely any colour that you want. So let's get on with it. First thing you want to do is open up the console so that you've got access to that RF board so you can change the LEDs. Oh, and you can also do this on a 360 controller as well. Okay, so now that we have the console opened up, we can move on and take the RF board out. So we've got this little um, plastic bit on the top. And this tutorial isn't just for fat consoles, even though I'm just doing a fat console. Process is pretty much the same on the slims as well, guys. Same size of LEDs and all that. So I'm just doing it on a fat console. Okay, so here's our F, our RF board. We've got three screws, one here, one here, one down there. Uh, so take out those screws and you'll be able to just pull the RF board off the console and we'll be able to start working on changing up, changing those LEDs. Okay guys, so you've, we've got our RF board off and zoomed in now. Now you can't see because I've zoomed it in, but if you can't just lay this flat on a desk. Um, because the slot that plugs into the console um, will, you know, stop it from lying flat on the desk, obviously. So, really good if you have some kind of clamp. Um, I've just got to make do with um, hanging the slot off the edge of the desk and then taping the other end to the desk, which gets me lying flat there. But, um, obviously, a clamp would be much, uh, much more practical. So, um, yeah, first of all, we're going to need flux and preferably rubbing alcohol I mean you don't have to have okay you have to have a soldering iron you have to have solder but it's optional to have flux and rubbing alcohol but I would recommend that you have those as well um, so the type of LEDs that we've got on the the board at the moment are 0805 LEDs now there are three contact points uh, one at each end and one in the middle and the reason for the one in the middle, um, or the reason we've got three is because they have two different lights. They've got red and green, obviously, because you've got your, um, I think they've also got orange, the default ones as well, I think. Or maybe that's only on older consoles, but um, it's so they can change colour. Now, um, it's up to you what kind of LEDs you want to buy. Um, now you can buy the 0805 which are the current LEDs that are on the board um, and get all your f different coloured lights. Mm. I would not recommend um, 0805 LEDs. The reason is that they are... <sighs> the reason is 0603 are much better. Um, they've got more of a use. First of all, if you only buy 0805 LEDs, you won't be able to do the middle one because the middle one is an 0603. So you need an 0603 LED if you're going to replace that one. And the 0603 LEDs will work 
on these as well. They just won't be able to display Red Ring of Death. So if you ever do get the Red Ring of Death on your console, it, there'll just be no lights on those four. Um, and the other great thing about the 0603 LEDs is that you can also use them to replace the controller LEDs for your Xbox 360 controller. So that is kind of the big plus side to them. You can do both the console RF board and your controller RF board with the same type of LEDs. So for me, I'm using 0603 for everything here. So we're going to start off and because I have to do it in a certain way, I'm going to start off with this one here, D2. So we'll put some flux on D2. Okay, so you've also got to take into consideration right now what position your console is in most of the time. So, um, for example, do you have it lying flat or do you have it lying vertically? Because depending on the position, your controller one LED, which is always on when you've got your controller connected, is going to be a different color if you're using multicolored or different colored lights for each controller. So bear that in mind as well, which position you have your Xbox in most of the time. So like I say, I'm doing this one for someone else, um, client, so he wants, he has his Xbox lying flat, so this one here is going to be his controller one LED, which is going to be blue. So he wants blue, red, red, blue, and blue for the middle one. So let's go ahead and do that now. So first of all, we've got to get rid of our first LED here. So step one, get some solder. Put the solder on your iron, first of all. And you want a fair amount. You want to kind of create a little blob of solder. And with that blob, you're going to try and float, float the LED off the board. So you're just going to... Ah, oh, there we go. It's off now with a bit of um, bit of a struggle there, but uh, we got that off. Just gonna grab a pair of tweezers and pick that off there. So that's our uh, our 805 LED off. Now that was not done very well. I will admit that. Sorry about that, guys. Um, you'll make a much neater job of it than I will. Some of it off on that side. Okay, so the way we want it here is this point here and the middle point are where we're going to join our LEDs, our 0603 LEDs. We don't, we leave one of the points out, I think it's this one. You can try both way around. Um, both both ways and see which one uh, is correct okay guys so here are the LEDs that we're going to be putting on this these are blue ones um, I got these from bright components I think they're a UK based company so if you live in the US I'm sure there's other places you can easily get hold of these um, no matter where you live uh, so they're very very small very small um, they're very easy to misplace so just be very careful with them. I mean, I've lost a few in the past. They've dropped out of the thing and just pinged away and I have lost them forever. They're so small. Um, but that's our blue one. So now I won't be able to show you this because they are so small, as I said before. Um, but on the back of the LED, there is a little mark. A little marker which basically says you know positive is this end negative is this end and um, so it'll either be marked by a little sort of T or an arrow pointing so if it's if it's a letter T then you want on this light here on this one you want this one pointing the T pointing towards the larger uh, point is what you're gonna want on here so, again, very, very small, makes things a bit annoying. It's even tried to stick itself to the, the tweezers there. Oh, 
Okay, so we hold it in with the tweezers and we just touch it until it locks on one end and then we go over to the other end we shouldn't need the tweezers for the other end just need to melt the solder up on that end and get that hooked up and that should be it um, so what I would say is you go and test that first before you try and solder any other ones on make sure it's working you've got the LED positioned the right way around if you don't just um, take it off and turn it around and try again so next one here again you want the T or the arrow on the LED pointing towards this big one here when you put it on so for this one it's going to be blue and what I might do for this one because it's the same process on every LED so I might just speed it up on the next few until we come to our middle point Okay guys, that's them all on now, um, apart from the middle one which we're about to do. Uh, I'll clean up the flux on them afterwards so they won't look all brown and burnt and stuff that they look like just now. And yeah, it hopefully all look good. So the middle one's just here, uh, just underneath the button, power button. Um, again, we need to float this one off which should be easier on a smaller solder now because it is such a small LED anyway. And get the other one on okay so that was really easy to get that uh, float that one off I've got our two contact points uh, so next for the middle LED I want that one to be blue so I believe these are the blue LEDs if you sort of forget what color it is or you're not sure and you want to test continuity tester uh, which you have on a multimeter will help you um, so if I set this on my multimeter and I just move this around take my two contacts touch each other not getting any light so they're the wrong way around so try that and you can see there the LED is turned on and it's blue and I know it's blue LED that's there so that's good that's the one I want just in case you get mixed up on your colors uh, it's always a handy thing to to do to check um, so let's take a guess and just put it round with the T facing that way we'll go with I just try and move it into position there here we go all right, that's it. So next we need to just clean up the flux that's on there and we should be all set to try our LED LEDs out. All 
Right, and that's them all cleaned up, so let's go and test now, and hopefully all the LEDs are working. I'm not sure about the middle one, because um, it may be the wrong way around. If it is the wrong way around, the light doesn't turn on, you just have to turn it around the other way, or, of course, doing that, you'll be taking the LED off, which may destroy it. If so, you'll just have to put another one on in its place. And that's us. So let's give this a go. Okay guys, one quick thing, when I said, I, I realised at the beginning of the video I said it was a blue LED for number one, that's actually red, so it um, should be red, blue, blue, red, and a blue one in the middle. Uh, so let's try it now, just to make sure. There we go, we've got our blue LED on number one, well, not number one, but the power, and for the controller, we get our lights like that. So we've verified they're all working, um, which means the T for the LED on the middle one is on the left side, just so that you guys don't have to go through changing it if you have to. And luckily I got it right first time, just on a guess. Okay, so next we're going to attach our little white plate here as well and see how it looks like with that on. So attach our little white plate. So we'll have to turn it on now with the screwdriver or a screw and there we are looking good all right so next I've just got to seal up the console um, I'm actually going to add some LED strips as well but uh, once I'm done that I will seal the console up and show you the finished result okay guys so here we go finished result this is the same console I have now put a black case on it though as you can see so let's go ahead and turn it on Got our blue light now in the middle. And it should go red, blue. Oh, actually, it's because it's standing up, it'll be different, but there you go. So that's the kind of theme he was going for. He was wanting red and blue. So I've also gone and put some uh, red LEDs along the top, uh, which you may cut. It's daylight, so it's hard to really see them. Uh, so we've got red, whoop, we've got red there, and blue on the bottom as well. So yeah. So anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, I hope this has helped you. Um, we will be doing a tutorial for the controller as well, in fact, if I can, yeah, my controller. Just to give you a quick showcase of this, you can see there, you got the, the LEDs on the controller as well. Just sync that up. Alright, so anyway guys, controller tutorial will be coming soon. And that is it. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Like the video if you liked it. Comment if you have any questions. And I will hopefully see you guys in my next video.